Yes, my friends, welcome back. Apologies for the lack of videos recently. Um, I don't know if I made things uh, known to you guys before, but I'm currently in Turkey with my partner on holiday. And um, as you guys can see, I'm soaking up this vitamin D like absolutely nothing. But naturally, as I'm making my way to Turkey, news has announced that Eden Hazard has officially retired at 32 years old. And I've been looking to find the time of my holiday to make this reaction video so we can remember one of the greatest players in our club's history in Eden Hazard. So I hope you guys enjoy this reaction video with me, share your thoughts and opinions and share your favorite Eden Hazard moment at our football club. Before we move into anything, my friends, today's video was brought to you by Parrymatch UK. Yes, guys, how would you like to get on the Stamford Bridge pitch for our home game against Arsenal on the 21st of October? That's right. Our friends over at Parrymatch UK are offering Chelsea fans the chance to win two tickets and a once in a lifetime opportunity for you and a friend to take part in a half-time football accuracy challenge at half-time to win Chelsea exclusive prizes. These include signed goods and match day tickets. Now it's completely free and simple to enter. All you have to do is head over to Parrymatch UK's Twitter account and give them a follow and share the promotional post, then reply with the person that you like to invite. Now, all entrants must be 18 plus and they have to be based in the UK with only one entry per person. Now, the giveaway ends at 2 p.m. on Saturday, the 14th of October. So that's next Saturday. So make sure to get all your entries in right now so you guys have a chance to win. You're gonna find all the links you need provided below in the description. And I wanna say a massive thanks to Paramatch UK for offering Chelsea fans this fantastic, amazing opportunity. Now shout out Nino12X with the compilation. Pff, Eden Hazard, it's been some glorious years watching him play for us. It might sound controversial, but I think he is the greatest individual player in our club's history. I think he really was that good. And he is a player we'll be telling our kids and grandkids and everyone about in the future. So yeah, incredible signing, incredible player. I mean, look, that natural ability and talent. Just look, three, four players taken out of the game. Cuts inside and then a little <laughs> cross to the other side of his foot. But that's what Hazard would do time and time again. Like I used to love that David Luiz and Hazard relationship where Luiz would play this like no look pass between the lines and Hazard is constantly receiving in areas to affect and cause damage and danger to the opposition. Because, you know, one of the hardest or, or a way to like see who the best dribblers are are the ones who are comfortable dribbling through the middle in congested areas, in tight zones. It's like you constantly need to have your sixth sense about you. You need to be one step ahead every single time. Most players like to dribble wider where they can see more of the pitch, more of the game. But the very best ones like Hazard's, wow. You can't give them a little bit of space so you're done. I mean, ugh, the little shimmies, the control, and the power he had. I mean, look at that bunda, my guys. My lord, let's get a replay back for that. now. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> oh. But when this guy would receive between, between the lines on the half turn and then drive and attack his opponents. Oh, just an incredible player. <laughs> you see how he slows down and accelerates away. I mean, look at the, the like, he, he was a very strong player, Hazard, very stocky. He had to be with how he was constantly tackled, kicked in the ankles, kicked from behind. Didn't get enough protection at all, but it's, again, one of the great individual goals this uh, this decade. That goal against West Ham, pff, incredible. In pff, sensational goal. Doing that for a young dead can rise through the whole team. <laughs> Eden Hazard, wow. And Hazard, you know, this guy could finish with either foot. He had his finishing technique on point. Now, you know this little finish here? That's that little M Mbappe finish. You know that little disguise finish where you think he's gonna go for the bottom right corner with how he opens his body up, but instead he's scoring for the opposite sides. You know, I love like the, the technique the French borders have. Like, I don't know what it is about um, France producing talents, but sensational, but yeah. Oh, Hazard, little cut inside. I used to love that link up between him and Ruben and those final few months in Sari's season. Little details like that, you know, Ruben plays the quick pass between the lines to find Eden. 
it's a shame that we couldn't see these guys play enough together because them down the left-hand side together, I mean, it was a very exciting period during like, the final moments of Zari's season. Like, brilliant cold finish. You know, Hazard's always placement, always technique, always, uh, you know, skill. Doesn't just blast the ball. Brilliant cross, finds Giroud. Another player that maybe in hindsight we released way too soon. But look at the ball over the top to find William. You know, him and Hazard had a great relationship playing for us over the years too. Ah, <sighs> oh, Higuain. <laughs> I forgot this guy even played for us, you know. But look at Hazard's playmaking ability too. It's not just like, he's not one dimensional. You can't contain him just by stopping him from running at you. Look at the balls over the top he's playing. See two players on him, he attacks the space, drives, left foot cross, deadly clips uh, to the opposite side too. He was just by far our best player, by a country mile. And yeah, that goal he set up for Kanse against Man City. <laughs> look, look at that cross. Look, I mean, let's see that again. Like it looks, you know, two Man City players on him trying to like close down the angles to like the byline to stop Hazard from cutting inside as well too. Most players probably turn their back and look to try and play the pass back to, to William or look to try and, you know, just like shield the ball. But that kills like the attacking move right there. Man City have like, what, six players inside the box. Hazard is just toying with them. You know, he's slowing the play down. He's waiting for that right third man run because he knows he has a technique to play that pass in the box to find them. And who was that? Again, takes it to his left foot, a cross goal, and Kante is running as a third man runner. No one's picked him up, no one's barked him. Sane. Sane's seen him way too late. And, and, you know, he's making Kante score goals for God's sake. Just little, like, you know, these are the type of plays you just take for granted now because, like, we, we do find it a bit harder maybe to, like, create opportunities and really score from them. And, you know, maybe back then we used to have a bit more complaints about not scoring enough. But look at the danger that Hazard causes. Just like, like I, I haven't seen any winger recently that can still find the right pass inside the box, like through moments like this. You got Kante again, left foot finish. This is the pre-season game. Oh no, was that pre-season or was that the um, the the final Europa Cup final? Yeah, this guy, against any opposition, he was toying with every top team for fun. Half-turn spin. Oh. That's the balance, the control, you know, the shift of his weight, the acceleration in the opening meters. Hazard was so dangerous in the first, like, five, ten meters. Look, this, this glue to his feet. He's got the perfect body balance control to shift directions on a fly. And it's like he always runs towards goal. He's not running away from goal. He's running towards goal, which makes it even harder to defend against. Players don't know what to do. Defenders are like all over the place. A little like drag back. Another one, another one. I felt like Hazard always played great games against Man City as well. Oh, again, look at that. <laughs> the little extra touch away from the keeper to have that composure. It's, it's simple things like that. Not many players, they try and take the shot early. I've seen, we've seen it happen over the years, but to have that added, added composure just to create the opening for the shot then. See, so opens his body up to do the fake, um, you know, uh, you know, cut into space. Don't know why I said that so wrong. But this little like, it just tells you how he thinks, you know? It was all very natural for Eden Hazard. You know, he used to get complaints about not maybe being like the perfect trainer, but I think sometimes, you know, not every player is a robot, you know, you need to appreciate the magic that certain individuals have because when we look back in our lives, we're going to remember these types of players more than anyone else. We're going to remember the moments, the skills, more than, you know, like the, the that one tap and goal, which made it like goal number 30 out of like a million tap and goal score that season. Listen, you're going to remember the trophies, but not those moments all the time. But Hazard, we all have a Hazard moment and have a Hazard memory. I mean, my only thing with Hazard is always going to be that the only thing that stopped Hazard going to another level, I'm always going to say it was us. I felt like if we gave him a proper left back to just give overlapping runs, 
you know if we gave like proper support if we played in a, in a different type of way as well too we could have got even more from Hazard's game in my opinion I think Sari tried his best and even then Hazard wasn't completely happy with the amount of control he had to play with but we that was his highest scoring season for us I just thought there was a lot more moments look at the combo play you know that was great play between him and Ruben like I said I used to love their relationship like Ruben during that time there weren't many players I saw playing the same wavelength as Hazard you know one flick uh, pass touch and go one twos like you have to be a good player yourself to be able to do that there's the amount of match winning moments pre-assist moments assists I think without Hazard's we don't win any of the trophies we do realistically he really was I mean, we've always been quite fortunate that we've always had a player that's like you know one of the top five in the world I think Kante, Hazard's guys like Drogba, Lampard, Terry we've always been fortunate to have that type of um, ability and let's hope players in the future like Enzo and Co can obviously live up to that type of manual as well but Hazard's left foot across his right foot the penalties as well too He's just a su supremely gifted football player. I think maybe Shirky is another player that reminds you of like, you know, a player that has a natural type of like feeling and instincts for the game, but he isn't as good as Hazard. Hazard was doing special things at Shirky's age. But phew, yeah, special season, special player. I mean, I feel like I could do a lot more reaction videos, to be honest with you. A lot of this is his final season against, uh, you know, under Sari, which is also great. I mean, look, <laughs> look how he's toying with them. You can't stop him, look. Attacking the spaces, driving forwards. He can, has the strength to shield the ball too. He doesn't get knocked on the floor easily. It's not like a Pulisic where, listen, he doesn't have the stockiness. He doesn't have the bunda, we all know that. Hazard's bunda does special things. But anyway, his involvement against Lavia Prague, you know, Pedro hitting the post. I think it was Hazard's goal. The equaliser right near the end helps us get back in that game. But that was a great season. And I feel like I might have to even do more reaction videos to Hazard because, I mean, this compilation was a great one. But it wasn't even enough to show, like, to do full justice towards Eden Hazard and the amount of memorable moments we had under him. Um, you know, it was really sad that... Uh, He's been forced to retire and just in terms of his legacy when he left us at Real Madrid, listen, I was upset. I kind of wanted him to remain here. Of course, he made incredible money, but I just felt like in terms of Hazard's legacy, in terms of what he did for us, I'm a bit sad for him that he wasn't able to fulfill what he wanted to achieve at Real Madrid. Of course, I think it had like a positive benefit for Vinicius Jr. But I think Hazard's, you know, I think with that Madrid team, with the Hazard that we had, if Madrid were fortunate enough to have a fit and healthy Hazard like that, I think this guy would be going down. The memory books is one of the greatest ever players in football. But um, again, an, an absolute privilege to have watched just a legend like Hazard. I think he is by far a Chelsea legend. And I'm going to say this, I think he's the greatest player in terms of talent, individual skill, ability, and natural gift that we've seen at this football club, my friend. So on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed. Share your thoughts and opinions as well too. And if you want to see more reaction videos, let me know in the comment section too, my friends. I'm going to be back uh, on Tuesday, so expect videos next Wednesday. But I'll see if I have more time, of course, to try and record a few more things while I'm here in Turkey, my friends. So on that note, I am EFC. This is Blue Lines TV. I'll catch you guys later with some more videos. Cool.